My first guest is Liberal Senator for South Australia, Alex Antic. Alex, a big day for the RBA Governor, Philip Lowe. How do you think he handled himself? He did tell Australians to keep an open mind about more rate rises in the coming months. Yeah, Rita, look, that, that's right. And it's the first time, I think, in history that the Economics Committee has been uh, a celebrity uh, event. I mean, was, we were all tuning in to listen to it, which was quite <laughs> strange. I wasn't actually in that one. But um, everyone was there and there was a media scrum with, as he left and uh, everyone was hanging on his every words at the moment. And the reason for that is because uh, we've seen our eighth consecutive interest rate rise. We're at the highest uh, level of uh, interest rates in, in 10 years, I think. So... There's a fair bit riding on this. Australians are, are suffering at the moment. They're, um, they're, they're hanging on what might happen in the future with the RBA. Inflation's high, food prices are high, fuel prices are high. And, you know, we say this is what you get when you, when you elect a, a Labor government. It's as simple as that. We had all sorts of promises about $275 power bill cuts and we're getting quite the opposite. So, look, I, I didn't see the entire, uh, the entire interject, uh, in, interchange in, in, the, uh, in the committee, but certainly it does seem as though Australians can uh, unfortunately look at the possibility of further interest rate rises. I mean, it, it just seems inevitable.